appreciate being here. First of all, I want to thank the Lord. It's everything come well. Sparring, camp, healthy, so I'm pretty good in my way too. And this fight means a lot for me, but at the same time, I uh, uh, feel pretty comfortable fighting this guy on uh, his own town. And are you going into his backyard fighting him in LA? Uh, yeah, I'm actually not fighting him in his own backyard, but he's gonna be. The, I'm gonna be the visiting. Yeah. You're the B side. Yeah, no, I'm the other, other, other side, so, well, it doesn't mean nothing for me, so, whatever side I am. <laughs> You're pretty strong. I saw you sparring with a really big guy today, and everyone was telling me you don't fight in the pocket with that guy, but you fought in the pocket, and you're 20 pounds less than him. Oh, uh, be um, one of the things I like to spar with Puga, because he made me feel like, bring my skills better, like, get more comfortable when I'm fighting. Like, it happens too with um, when, I, when I fight um, Will Watchers, same thing, I was sparring him. When I fight him, when I fight Will Watchers, it was way, way different thing. So, I thank Rudy to come and help me for um, my camp too, a lot. And like, what what is your team made of going into this? Like, who's traveling with you and how have you been getting ready for this fight? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a lot of few people, from, members from, um, from the gym. They're going to uh, watch me, but the main uh, thing uh, said it would be is my uh, conditioning, uh, training conditioning coach, and Jesse will be going with me. How do you like after this fight? There's a lot of talk that these major promoters might sign you because you're going and you're fighting a really good fighter. If you win this fight, have you thought about that you might potentially get signed by a promotion after this fight? I don't. I hadn't even thought about it, but. You know, the only thing I will say, I will leave everything to uh, to the Lord, man. He's the only one that knows what's gonna happen in the fight, so just leave everything in God's hand. How much have you learned from your pro debut as being a professional boxer? A lot. My first debut, I learned the most. Learned um, better thing to learn that, that I learned from my first um, pro fight to get uh, more control in the ring, to don't get crazy, and. I've been watching my videos, my fights, and I noticed that my first fight crazy, second one a little bit, and my last one I, I pay myself a little bit better when I fight some audio, so I feel much better now, and this fight I will feel more more better too. Um, first of all, it was like me and Jesse would practice, not uppercuts. It was like, oh man, come on, you're taking all my favorite punch away from me, but it works because he knows they were gonna be expecting that right uppercut, and I'm Jesse told me I'm pretty sure he's cornered. It's um, working in that when you throw your uppercut, they're gonna do counter or they're gonna outbox you with uh, something else. And I don't do my uppercut and the fight come well. Yeah, so what did you learn from that? What I learned, um, I needed, um, the, what I learned, because I had a few times like to feel like I was gonna knock him out, but he knows, he's been in the ring he's with tricky. few with few guys. Yeah, he's pretty tricky. He knows when to hold, he knows, when I had to do like a little bit things to to get me out of out of control from my fight, and he gave me a few times out of control from the fight. 